Okay, this is my game against Julio Becerra from the National Open in 2009, because they're all from 2009. And this was the last round. And uh, Becerra's higher rated than me because he's better than me. Okay, so we played an exchange Slav, as I usually play with white. And Julio doesn't like to draw, although I did draw him in the Spice Cup once, so I guess he doesn't hate it. Okay, and I played the usual. Now, he, he, in this position, strong grandmasters play either bishop f5 or a6. And he played a way where he's playing for a win. Uh, so he played e6. And the idea is when I play e3, he's going to play knight h5 and get the two bishops. Which isn't a big deal because this bishop sucks. So I guess I should do this. Yeah, that bishop sucks because it's red, you know. Okay, so I tried not to give up my bishop, but trying. First step to failure. Yeah, so I played bishop g5. Obviously, if he plays bishop e7, we trade bishops and his knights here. So, played queen b6, threatening my pawn. But I tricked him because I saw it. By the way, the games today are especially good. Because 2009, I was really good. 2009, definitely one of my top three years of how strong I was. Good in 2009. Okay. And then I played rook b1, defending my pawn. He put it in h. I saw my bishop was attacked. Played g5. And in this position, I tried not to lose my bishop by playing a discovered attack. So make a move for white. That's a discovered attack. And then if you do, that means you discovered it. Um. Thanks then, hombre, for subscribing. You're the best. Can't go there. I know it's going to be on that night. I'm just trying to see where to move it. If I go there. I'll go there, though. Also, my move is the engine move because I used to be good. Let me see where the best place for it is. Well, I don't know. I mean, you didn't move the knight on f3 somewhere. But... Right. I played knight to d2. That's the best move. Okay. Now, if he takes my bishop and I take his knight, his pawn structure is frankly mm -hmm. ridiculous. So he fiend kettled his knight. Hey, technically, can you fiend kettle your knight or that's a misnomer? Like, you could only fianchetto a bishop. You, you see what I'm saying? I think it has to be a bishop. It has to be a bishop. But mine's funnier. So, okay, so he played knight g7. I saved my bishop. And then he plays knight f5. So he got me. I can't, I can't save my bishop. Okay, so bishop d3. And we trade. And the engine says I'm slightly better because his king side is a little suspicious. Okay. And now he is from the Ben Feingold school of chess, always retreat. So he played queen d8, confusing the audience. His queen's not doing anything on b6 anymore. So. Okay, I played a3, because it stops his knight and bishop from coming to b4. He fianchettled his bishop. <clears throat> I played rook c1, because my rook's stupid on b1. He played king f8. It was actually a mouse slip, and we were playing in real life. Okay, no, king f8, he, he meant to play king f8. Okay, I played b4, played bishop d7, I played knight b3. I'm doing law on the queen side. He played bishop e8, always retreat, knight c5, queen e7, defending his pawn. Bishop e2, always retreat. Then if he plays b6, my knight has a good square on d3. Rook d8 f4 because i used to be aggressive when i was younger and i was pretty old during this game okay now in this position he played a move i would never consider and when he played it i was like what world am i in i mean i, I couldn't i if you ask me what are, what are the worst moves for black I, this would be near the top but the move isn't that bad it's just not good but it's not that it's good or bad it's who would think of such a move? 
The answer is fries. That's right, Meister Der HS. He I'm not going to guess a bad move. Just go ahead and... Yeah. Okay. He, he played H5. Notice all of my pieces are attacking H5. Mm. I was like, what the hell is that? Okay, so the engine wants me to take with the bishop. But I played rook takes. Now it says it's equal. It doesn't like my rook takes. He took, I took, he took. And now I can't take with the e-pawn because knight takes d4 or bishop takes d4. So I took with the g-pawn. Then he played e5, another move I never thought of. e5 is one of the best moves, if not the best move. So he's really opening up my king by playing unusual sacrifices. So if I was white now, I would get crushed because I can't play chess anymore. But I was good in 2009. So I was playing like engine move every move because I used to be good. Okay, so I played F takes E5, which is correct. He played queen H4 check. Now the engine doesn't like my move. It says the best move is king D2. That's I, what I was looking at. I didn't Run. do that. I played king F1. Oh. Now it says I'm worse, but slightly. Slightly, just slightly. Then it doesn't like his move. Remember, every move he plays, you would never think of. He sacrificed his knight. It says that's equal. The knight took, and he played d4. So he's really going after my king and playing super aggressive and crazy. Okay, now I played the engine move. If you find it, we get a trillion dollars. <laughs> All right, let's see. This move proves that I used to be good. Because nobody in the chat's going to get this move unless they just look the game up on the internet and see the move, which is what I assume last guy did. How did I find this move? My move looks insane. Yeah, I don't know. Are you ready? Yeah. I Okay, so my knight's attacked. Mm -hmm. So I hung my rook, queen f3, letting him check and take my rook. Oh. And leaving my knight hanging. Wow. And that's the best move. You know, because I want to play knight e6 check. Right. Okay, now it's equal. He played queen h1, which is correct. I played king e2. E either move is equal. He took my rook. I played knight e6 check. King g8 is the best move. I took his rook. And this is a draw. He can perpetual check me. And so this is fine. King f1. And his move is correct. He took dc3. So now the, the smoke has cleared. I'm up a pawn. This pawn's really dangerous. Mm -hmm. And this pawn's attacked by a lot of stuff. But it says it's equal. So I took. He took. I took, he played king h7, that's fine. And I played knight e6. Okay, and this is still a draw. He played queen d1, king f2, queen d2, king f1, always repeat. And then I played for the win, king f3. And in this position, he blundered. And this is move 40. So probably this was his last move of the time control. Yeah. Yeah. The only way to play is queen d1 check, and that's still a draw. It's hard to figure out, like, perpetual checks and stuff. Okay, but he blundered. He played queen d5 check. Okay, now one king move wins. What is it? <laughs> also, e4 is no good. But I have a lot of king moves. One of them wins. Um, let's see. You go there. I think if you go there. Okay. 
The people who are suggesting King G4, I think, don't see Queen takes G2 check. Okay, so the answer is I walk into a check. I play King G3. Oh. And then his only check is to take my pawn. And then I play King F2. Okay, now here's the problem he has. If it's my move, I play Knight F8 check. Okay? And then if he plays king h6, queen g6 is mate. If he plays king h8, knight g6 check wins his queen. Okay, my other threat, if it's my move, is uh, I can play knight takes g7, queen takes g7, queen g7, king g7, king e2, and I win the king and pawn endgame because I win this and I'm two pawns up. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. So... He played queen f6, which is a mistake. The best move is very hard to find, although he's still losing. King h8. So nobody's going to play that. Okay, so he played check, takes, takes. King e2. And this is a winning endgame for me because I'm a pawn up and I can corral that pawn. Okay, he played c2 because he gets a pawn back. Now he plays bishop b2 and he, I lose my a pawn because he's threatening the queen. Now I'm only a pawn up, but this is a winning endgame. And endgame, that's just my game. And the way I won was nice. The engine just says I'm plus four. B5 is good because I fix his pawns. Good thing the ampassant rule exists. Okay, then basically I'm up two pawns because his pawn doesn't matter. He can't play uh, king f4 because I play knight g2 check. Now if he takes, I play knight check, knight takes bishop, and I win the king upon endgame. Mm -hmm. So he played here, checked, played here. And this was in the old days when I was confident. And I played e5, sacrificing my knight. So if he takes my knight, I push either pawn... And then mm -hmm. I push the other one. Right, yeah. So I go here, and then I go here, and then, you know, then I push either pawn and win. So after e5, he resigned. That was one of my better games that year. That was the last round of the National Open, so I, yeah. won, I won a lot of money. That's a cool that. game. I like yeah. that one. What'd you guys think? I liked that game. Lots of okay, now debugger D has a question. His question actually makes sense, unlike the other chat's question. I questions. had a question too. Yeah? All right, here's debugger's after, question. After debuggers. Okay, he says in this position, what if he plays C2? Okay, and he's sacrificing his queen, and he's going to queen. So I go check, he has to go here. I go check, he has to go here. I take his queen, and then he queens. This is debugger's question, mm -hmm. D. Now the engine says I'm up plus four. And it says queen g6, or it basically says I'm going to win by playing knight f3, and he has no perpetual, and I'm two pawns up. Right. So it like gives some checks with the queen, and it plays knight f3 and says I'm just winning. Probably I give checks where I defend my pawn. Like I could play queen here, Queen here, and then knight f3, and my pawn's defended. And his bishop is useless. It defends his king, but he can't attack with his queen and bishop. Mm -hmm. So the engine says, I'm winning here. That would have been a different way to win. Yeah, that was back in the day. Oh, you had said at some point the yeah. best move was king h8. Correct. But you didn't really. In this why. position. Yeah. yeah, the idea is if I take this. Mm -hmm. hoping that he takes and I win the king upon ending, he plays c2. And if his king's on h7, I'm winning here because I've discovered knight checks. But here I don't have anything good. This is a draw now. Mm. Okay, so I can't play knight takes g7. It wants me to play knight d4, stopping his pawn. Right. And it says I'm plus two. But the way he played, I was plus 4.3 or something. So this was a better way of trying not to yeah. lose. But king h8, that's pretty hard to find. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a very complex game. Yeah, I liked the and game. And then the final position was e5. And then he resigned here. 
if he plays king here, I play king here, and okay, two pass pawns for nothing. When the game ended, I thought he'd be mad because, like, the way the game went, mm -hmm. where he was sacking and attacking, and instead he like wanted to analyze the game, and he was really interested. He was just acting normal. Yeah. Like, can you imagine if certain people lost that game? Who we won't mention, like you know, Karu or Hans, furious. <laughs> Although they would be more mad losing to me. He's probably not that mad losing to me. But, okay, they would be furious. And Becerra's rating, his FIDE rating was 2609. God damn. And so forth.